Okay, let's see what lies ahead in the world of William Shatner and the world of Yoshi. The skiing level. Can't wait. Dangerous descent. Well, there are Lakitu's, so it can't be that dangerous. Anything over there? That's per usual. Snowmen on ski lifts. Well, I suppose it's not completely unheard of. I mean, I am a giant floating dinosaur with a baby on my back. Okay, so there's an arrow that points that way, more than likely pointing to some sort of secret that might be coming out of a switch somewhere in the future. But that's mystery and more to be revealed later. And by later, I mean right now. Alright, let's go see where in the world my jump button will work. Down here, come on. Come here, you. One of you, please. There we go. This might make exploration a tad bit easier. Especially considering that the snowmen don't really want to cooperate. Mm -hmm. That was an unintentional secret found. We can even call it a secret. Oh, there goes that cloud. It's not really the snowmen's fault, it's the fault of the fact that the snowmen don't exactly work when you want them to, and thus we missed out on whatever that red switch was for, and I'm pretty sure it's for a flower or something, because typically that's what they're for, I guess. I have no idea. It doesn't exactly help that there's slippery physics, and the fact that not every time that you jump off of a snowman, you flutter jump higher, which is a bit of an annoyance, I suppose, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. Where is my safe state anyway? No, we're good. Well, uh, don't know if I'll be able to replicate it on camera immediately away, but, uh... Yeah, so I can replicate my death quite easily, but I saw something in the clouds. Okay, I still have no idea what that's supposed to be for. I can't get up there fast enough to even check, so... Let's just continue the level as it's meant to be continued. In forward progress. Well, that was a bit lucky, actually, because I probably should have died there. There's a flower under that flower. Mario. Physics. It's probably the one thing I don't like about this game. When you get hit, you just careen off to the side somewhere. It's so annoying. Finally got a Lakitu cloud, so... Let's see if my suspicions were correct. Okay, that was weird. Okay, there's something in the clouds, and I guess I was just seeing things. Alright, Lakitu. Right, Lakitu. Maybe that arrow is there to trick you. Maybe it's really over this way. Well, it was worth a shot. And there's the pipe for what I can presume is the next part of the level. Two minutes and I mean not two minutes. Two game overs and I still have no idea what I'm doing. Though now I'm starting to wonder if Lakitu would be essential to getting this button press brigade done and over with. Though actually catching his cloud is going to be rather difficult considering he's not coming down. And I can't really get up too well. Come on, Lakitu. Two Lakitu. Join me again in my next super major counting adventure! With various Sesame Street characters. Inside, please! Thank you. 
uh, this better not just be a bonus thing. This better be for something. <laughs> not gonna be very happy if it's just bonus land. And it looks like it's just bonus land. Well, I guess I can't complain about free lives. Gee, I wonder if I have enough coins to buy a house and treasure adventure game. Oh, that was a very clever waste of like 10 minutes. Actually, I'm probably exaggerating a whole lot. It's probably only like 8 minutes. Which still isn't necessarily a good number. How many coins would I even have, too? That it was not intended pun, for those of you wondering. Like it to go away. That worked. Oh, you and your cactus. I don't think it's a very good idea to throw your children around. See, Mario agrees. Like it too also agrees. Oh, like it too, you're the worst thing. Really? I didn't know the mother cactus hurt you, too. Hmm. Curiosity killed the cat and the Yoshi and everybody else. It appears that that pipe that I thought was going to be the continuation of the level is actually going to be a secret. Well... Secret. Also, I somehow kind of figured that Yoshi fan would do that. And a kill room. Do I have four eggs? Well, I don't need four, but I'll take four and then go away. Back up here, and I will just continue onward because I know there's nothing else in the other half of the level. And our favorite sound in the world's come back with some snowmen, some more birds, some flightless, some that can fly. That tap tap actually came in very helpful, and that snowman was hiding a one up. Well, tap tap, thanks for your help. I'm gonna have to leave you behind now. And. I have a feeling the skiing section is coming up soon, which bothers me because of how little bit of stats we have. Well, at the very least, we're at a hefty amount of stars, which doesn't make me feel too terrible. What's this got to say? Um, items in the trees. Well, it appears there's a fire melon in the trees, and there's a cactus in my face. So, uh, what exactly are the benefits of having a fire watermelon? Well, I suppose at some point we're going to be going in this door, and we can make the door actually fall down lower. Yoshi, would hell of you just look down when I ask you to? Yeah, we're not gonna bother with that right now. Or maybe we will. Let's see what's inside. Key. Will that be enough to make it so the balloon can go through? Yes, it is. to actually catch that with my tongue, and of course something in that dust. What would there be? I've always preferred to call it dust. I don't really suppose it matters what I call it. As long as we know this is stuff that crumbles at the blink of an eye. Or at least the throw of an egg. So, uh, I'm still completely forgetting that this keep coming back. It is strange to me. 
Now then, the real question here is... Is my theory correct? Good thing watermelons through time have learned how to float. Yes, I was right, but it seems to only be for bonus coins. Which, again, I'm not really used to in this hack. This seems like something that the first few levels will do, not the latter half, even though I suppose the game is getting more difficult, so more lives are required, but at the same time, I think that could have been avoided by him not removing the uh, bonus game things that were in the original game that let you farm lives. Even if they weren't the most conventional of methods to doing so, it lets you practice the bonus games, among other things. And then you would be able to more than likely be able to get more lives. I don't know why I said be able twice. So, that plant's gonna go away now. Although, I'm not entirely sure if you can blow away these plants with fire. Yes, you can. That's important. Possibly. Oh, is this still going to be? Yes. Actually, is there anything else on this particular area of half? Doesn't look like it. I've got full eggs. I may as well not waste my time trying to not die there. Another fire melon? I can't tell if I feel like that'll be important, but I've got a full one in my mouth, as far as I know. So let's burn that penguin and just waste it entirely. Although, part of me can't help but think that maybe, possibly, there are obstacles that require this fire melon to get flowers. Doesn't seem to be the case in actuality, though. However, I can't help but think that we're missing out on certain things, but I suppose we're going to find that out here now. I'm using that method of um, employment of jumping so we don't have to get the stupid annoying sound. Though, I have to ask, what's behind the pinball flippers? Way back? Can't. Helpful? Perhaps? Do you really want to go back and go in that bonus door? There's a penguin inside the snowman all along. Maybe I should call them snow ones, because they're not really snowmen. Now the real question is, is there anything in this hole? What would there be? Holes just exist for them to be fallen into, and then you wonder why. And... is there anything beyond here that would be blocked off by the staircase? It would appear that there is a flower behind that plant that spits out cacti. And again, tap tap, you have become helpful for all the wrong reasons. And I guess that the uh, plant is there in order to make it so we can get infinite eggs. And the tap tap is there to be an annoyance. Except for the one random couple of times where he's actually helpful. Now let's go see what's up here. Giant floating snow, my favorite. Well, you're the type that likes to fall off, so I'll just let you josh your way down there. And then maybe you can find another name that starts with J. Now, I suppose we're going to have to have that shy guy fall through the world here. Maybe it will be like one of those kamikaze balloon things and it will just fall off onto our heads. Yes, it will. And... Woo. Excitement in the world of Yoshis. So... Um, I guess that's it for this section? It's looking more and more like the case. I don't much care for you, Mr. Plant, so you must die. Now, here is the fun part. And you actually are required to get the key. So you can go skiing. Yay. Well, I guess at least it's at the end of the level, not the beginning. Of course, that won't stop me from getting a game over, more than likely. So, 
So, three lives to attempt this in. Not looking very promising on my end. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Cause like, I know if I just do this, that'll happen. Oh, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Huh. I'm not used to the unconventional methods of playing levels. Well, this is gonna require some shy guy bouncing, and I guess I wanna go ahead and put a safe state down because I am running out of lives and... Not that this level's particularly difficult, I just don't really want to play through it again. Look at me, forgetting immediately what to do. So for this section, just hold your horses and they will go ahead. And if you hold your horses way too long, bad stuff happens. Alright, I earned an extra life, so we can completely miss that jump properly. And yet again, me making a mistake. In my mind, when I see that obstacle, I just want to jump, even though I'm not supposed to. Okay, we finally got those two red coins. And I have no idea what you're supposed to do here. Maybe you're not supposed to do that. Um, you're not supposed to do that either. And you're not supposed to do that. And you're not supposed to do that. And you're also not supposed to do those things. And you're, of course, not meant to do that either. And, well, you can do that, but it's not good for you. Oh, whatever. It's not that this level's bad, I'm just notoriously bad at ski levels. That was lucky. Is that everything that was in that section? Another thing I don't like about these skiing sections is that they're usually way too long. And I just missed out on that flower, which I have no idea what you're supposed to do to actually get it. I guess something like that. And that prevents you from getting a one-up. These look like red coins, but in actuality, they are not. Well, that was just an instinct to see if there was anything behind the tree, which there was not. There's an arrow over here, so we must follow it. As a Yoshi, our brains are way too small to actually comprehend that fact. And we're missing out on a red coin somewhere. Well, let's see if we can't find it somewhere. And of course, I don't have any magnifying glasses, why would I? Well, I honestly have no idea where that last red coin is, so I will guess I will... Um, I will guess I will go investigate that later date. Yeah. English is not my strong point this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's, it's after midnight, that's all I know. So I guess it's morning, I don't know. I'm guessing that the red coin might have not just, you know, not spun, not spawned. Whatever. Gee, let's see how ridiculously rigged this one is. Just as a test. I want to know what's behind all of them, because... Generally, this is really rigged all the time. There's uh, there's Kamek. There's a Toady. There's Kamek. And a 20 star item. Well, what happens if you get everything but you don't hit Kamek? If that's Kamek, so there's no way to actually win this. Good to know. Yeah, you know, you'd think it'd mean continue with exiting, but I guess not. So who wants to bet that a red coin just didn't spawn somewhere? And a tap 
Tap. Wait. Oh yeah, there is a boss called Tap Tap. The Tap Tap. Red nose, I mean. Well, I guess next time we're going to go kill the red nose guy. And for once, I don't mean Santa.